guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jackie O. Jagged, 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 jagged. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to go from struggle to snatched in today's makeup tutorial. This is gonna be a self drag, but I feel like this is kind of something that I specialize in. I'm so excited. I have the opportunity to partner with Sephora for today's video. Being that Sephora is literally the one stop destination for like pretty much all of the makeup that I use. This just makes this partnership so easy. But shout out to you Sephora for sponsoring today's video. The emphasis on this video today is going to be foundation and what better way than to work with Sephora, AKA the best destination for finding foundations for a video just like this. Sephora carries every beauty brand that you can think of. I mean, aside from like the Beauty Insider program, which is their rewards program, basically as you spend, you rack points. Those points are redeemable on samples. Between the Beauty Insider program, the VIB sales, they give you three day samples, which I think is especially important. And I say this all the time in my videos, especially when it comes to complexion products, please, please try before you buy. Sometimes you may see something in store and then you take it home and you may decide, oh, that looks, that looks a little different. Let's try something else. I think that is always the biggest plus with Sephora, something that keeps me coming back. Did you guys know that Sephora actually carries over 130 different foundations at over 3,000 shade options? I'm shook. One of my favorite things about Sephora too is their color IQ. So once you take the quiz and you tell Sephora, here's what I use in these lines. Okay, these are my favorite foundations. These are the best matching foundations I've ever tried. Once you start shopping for more foundations in the future, it'll tell you like, oh, this matches your color IQ. So it kind of like does the guesswork for you. It's not always exact to the T, but it is tremendously helpful. And it a lot of times helps guide me, especially when I'm buying things online. I don't have time to get into a store. I just, just, just tally me up, Sephora.com, thank you. And the beauty advisors, the ones that help you with the samples, be giving me all the tea, girl. I'll be like, mm-hmm, when is that foundation launching? No, tell me the truth, girl. You got any more in the back? Girl, just don't tell your manager. I ain't gonna tell nobody. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. So today we're gonna be talking about foundation choices, how I go about matching my favorite foundation shades, how I get the perfect match myself. I know you guys come to me as a beauty expert, but a lot of you guys just don't have the knowledge and the expertise to find your own shades or match yourselves when you go shopping. So hopefully the tips in today's video combined with the resources of shopping at Sephora will be helpful for you guys. Without further ado, uh, I'm sure you guys probably didn't come to see this much of the struggle, so let's go ahead and get started. And you guys know I have to ask because I love you. Make sure you subscribe. Don't be a part of the 60%, the 60% of the people who watch the videos and don't subscribe. We got love for you. All the, we got love for all of you. If you do want to be notified when I upload and only when I upload, you can click the bell button to be notified of when I post new videos. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, I'm gonna roll up my sleeves even though they are short sleeved. Ugh, that's beside the point. I always do my base first. A lot of people like to do eyes first. I kind of feel like the base is just the, the base is, I take it in a literal term, base, the foundation, the just that's beginning and the end. And once we get that on point, like I just feel like everything else goes smoothly. I already primed my skin with the NARS primer. I'm gonna be using a NARS foundation today. I always like to, you know, stay within the brand. I think that thing was usually just, Everybody just gets along much better. We don't have to worry about no alimony issues. We don't have to worry about no, but just, it's just smoothly. So the first foundation that we're gonna start off with, I'm shaking it right now. This is NARS Sheer Glow. It's one of my favorite foundations and the color that I use is Macau. So I'm gonna walk you through how I decided me and Macau was gonna be, how did we come up with the conclusion that Macau and I were gonna be homies? Here's what Macau looks like swatch in two different parts of my face, the center of my face and on the bottom. The bottom half of my face is darker, but as you can see, when you apply Macau into my chest, and that's a pretty considerable amount of foundation, it blends right in. Like if I had, Dennis is on the phone, I would bring him in here. But if I had went up to Bay and said, where's the foundation and blended it out, he'd be like, oh, I can't tell. I can't tell, babes. He's British, so <laughs> the accent, you know. I love Macau, it doesn't oxidize throughout the day. It's like a perfect match. It's got yellow undertones. It's like yellow golden. And you guys know I stand. I usually do about like two and a half pumps for my full entire face. Another tip to help guide you through foundation shade matching is trying it on in different lighting. I pers personally, 
I feel like natural sunlight will snitch on you in a minute. So get your three day sample from Sephora, swatch it on like your chest or on your cheek, just any part of the face where you would want the foundation to be like the best, most accurate match and go outside, you know, take a little pocket mirror with you and see how it looks in natural daylight. That way you can see like, what is the true undertone showing you? What is she trying to tell you? Because let me tell you something, if you listen loud enough, your foundation will talk back. And even just when you're doing your makeup at home, like get you a nice, big, open, fresh window. Two things that will sit on you are natural daylight and camera flash. Don't say I didn't warn you. Also, I've shared this tip before, but I love, actually I prefer using like a magnified mirror to apply my foundation because it really helps me see like if everything is blended and everything just looks good up against my complexion. Make sure you blend it into your neck and into your chin. Two things that will snitch on you are natural daylight and camera flash. Don't say I didn't warn you. As I mentioned earlier, you guys know the bottom half of my face is a little bit darker than the rest of my face. It's not a big deal. All that means is sometimes I just have to use a different foundation or a different product to kind of balance it out a little bit. I love the Vanish Stick Foundation, not only as a contour, as a way to balance out my complexion, but as a foundation too. Like I could do my whole face, contour, boom, boom, bam. Oh girl, I use Espresso to Contour, Warm Almond Under Eyes, Golden Almond is my foundation color. And because I have a narrow face shape, I kind of concentrate most of that color right underneath my chin, and then I'll go bleh right there, just, just a teensers. I try not to sculpt too much because most people want to narrow out their face, and my face is already narrow. I have the opposite problem. Sometimes the base gives you too much of a blank canvas. You wanna bring back that dimension, the natural shadows in the face. So when you, 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 you So when you use something that's a little bit darker, not only are you doing that, but you are also making sure that you make up for any discoloration in the complexion. This brush is also from Hourglass. It's really stiff. So I feel like because that foundation is so thick and so like T-H-I-C-C -C thick, definitely want to use a brush that's really dense that can really, you know, just get it right. Get it right and get it tight. You can always, you don't have to go for a contour that's this strong. You can always go up a shade lighter. We're gonna do a little bit of color correcting. Lately, I've actually been using the NARS concealer. They came out with the shade Truffle a couple months ago and I've been really liking kind of that orangey yellow undertone it has just around my mouth to again, correct. I try not to use too much because I don't want to like change the foundation. So that was Truffle. Now we're gonna use a Mond. When it comes to highlighting, some people say go three to four shades lighter. I would not advise that. I definitely like it to be like brighter than my skin tone, but not like significantly bright. Like it shouldn't be white up against your skin tone. And I also prefer that my highlight matches the undertone of my complexion. So don't just go in if you have golden undertones and pick something that's pink based because that's just gonna throw everything for a loophole. Everyone's confused, everyone showed up to the party, it was the wrong location because you didn't tell people, this is the direct, you didn't tell people. So they, of course they showed up to the wrong destination. You know, you gotta let people know. And Amand is a nice golden shade. So I, it's one of my favorite concealers ever, 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 ever. I'm just gonna blend this out with the foundation brush. I do like when the concealer dries down a little bit. So it takes me, it takes me a minute, like, it's, it's a moment. The concealer just gives you better coverage. Then to blend my concealer, I usually start at the bottom corner of my nose and work my way up. If you have to bend that nose, get in that corner. Face is looking flawless. Okay, I'm gonna set this with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I'm just gonna take another beauty blender and press that into my skin. I also do the center of my forehead because I get shiny there. This enhances the cheekbones a little bit when you go under where you contoured. Do you see what I just did? Do you see what I just did? Do you see what I just did? Y'all ain't ready. Nobody appreciates. Nobody appreciates me. I'm gonna take Anastasia Brow Wiz. Anastasia, our queen to be. I'm gonna take a dark brown. I really like this color for my daytime looks, especially with my hair color. <laughs> Cause you know, she is a, you know, she's a natural blonde, right? 
And I wanted to keep the video zoomed out while you saw like the foundation up against my body, but we're gonna move in for eyes. I did prep them with the Smashbox lid primer. I used the color medium. This palette from Pat McGrath, you know, you guys know I live for Pat. Like she could do no wrong in my eyes. This is the Mothership Sublime Bronze Ambition. I'm going for like a sun kiss. Rain goddess look today. I'm gonna take this color here, which honestly looks like the perfect crease color. Oh, I just love when I see like the perfect transition color. Oh, it just does things to me. And I'm blending that into my crease. Oh, I love the way it looks already. Ah, it's so pretty. I'm also blending that color along my bottom lash line. We have invested ourselves in bronze summer rain goddess, so we're, go we're going full throttle. I'm gonna take this color here. It's almost kind of like a peachy copper. That's really pretty. Oh I didn't even need to throw on my base. Pat, what's going on? These shells are so freaking pretty. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. Fiending for this middle color, she's really cute. So I'm gonna put that, okay. Too much nail. You know what, I think I may need to go a little lighter. Let's go for this color here. She's a bright, more champagne-y gold. Oh yes, oh yes girl. This is a brown liquid liner. I love a brown liquid liner with my daytime looks. It's the Lancome Grandiose Liner. Ooh, she went in for a sharp wing too. Did say I was gonna give you snatch today though. Don't say I didn't warn you. This next tip comes courtesy of my girl Carly Bible. She loves using a powder foundation like the one from Kat Von D to sweep up all the powder after baking. She says it kind of works to like brighten and to kind of like finish. Like it just photographs really well. So I went and got medium 62 from the Kat Von D Lock It Powder Foundation. It's almost like a caramel color. And I'm gonna take a little bit of that onto a powder brush. And she kind of like presses it into the skin. So it adds a little bit more coverage and it finishes and also in my forehead. And I felt like this would be a really good tip for me because as you can see, I have like deep under eye and this, in my opinion, kind of is filling in that gap. It looks nice and smooth and airbrushed. Okay, Carly. I knew you wouldn't steer me wrong. I'm gonna take this Anastasia bronzer. It's in the color Mahogany. Just a little bit. Oh, yes. I can't forget about my mole. I cannot neglect my mole. She gets lost. Oh, that's blue liner! How you doing? I'm gonna take some liquid blush. This is Torrid from NARS. Then I'm gonna take Hustler Baby from my Kilowatt blah, 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 from Fenty. I love how this has a little bit of green in this. And also bridge that, down. oh whoa. Got a little overzealous there, it's fine. Let's take your finger and blend her out. A Little bit of my Hangover RX spray. And I like to do that because sometimes after a fresh application, things just look a little too fresh and this will give the makeup that lived in look. Okay, the packaging for these new Too Faced lipsticks are stunning. I'm gonna take Birthday Suit and I wanted something that was like pink, like pink. Ooh, this lipstick reminds me of the old Jackie O. I haven't worn a light pink like this in a long time. This color is banging. She's no longer ratchet. Ooh, this look is stunning. So that was it with today's look. I promised you guys that I was gonna give you guys more like actual tutorials instead of just reviews, 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 reviews all the time. So here we are. I hope you guys like the look. It's definitely a signature Jackie O kind of beat. I told you I was coming for a snatch. Shout out to you, Sephora. Thank you again for working with your girl, partnering with me today for this video. Hey, hey, you, hey, you're supportive. And me, I appreciate it, so thank you. If you just can't get enough of Jackie O and you just wanna keep on watching, feel free. I'm just lay back here, put the video right there so you can watch. You can't watch just one. It's actually against the law in 37 states to just watch one Jackie Ina tutorial. I'm telling you this to keep you out of trouble, young ladies and young men, okay? I'm just letting you know. Don't break the law, just keep watching. Thanks. You have been warned.